Fala, povo. Mano, tinha encerrado o último lá, mas eu vi que tem um outro videozinho da hora sobre ciência e, e religião bate-papo do Jubili. Vamos dar uma olhada ali, que, sei lá, eu curto, né? Então, é o que a gente curte aqui. Coloquei a legenda agora em português, que deu, acho que vai ficar mais certinho. Fica melhor pra nós. Might there not be something well, sir, right that, sir, that sir. your scientific But... beliefs can't explain? De quando que é esse vídeo aqui? 16 de dezembro de 2018. Hum. Vai, três anos e pouquinho. Cientistas e líderes religiosos podem olhar olho no olho, conversar e tal. Mano, tinha que ter mais no Brasil, né? Mais My nossa. Esses bate-papos. Eu sou ok. Eu sou 40 anos jovem. I am a minister of the Buddhist church. I'm Andrew, I'm 42, and I'm a chemist. I'm Jess, I'm 36, and I'm a volcanologist. I'm, I'm Don, I'm 64, I'm a paleontologist and geologist. I'm Amy, I'm 53, and I'm a rabbi. I believe this universe was created. This is literally, literally my greatest fear that I'd be all alone in this circle. <laughs> I, I believe that this world was created. Uh, I've placed my faith in a God that is infinitely creative in what he's made. He then deserves my worship and my affection. Seriously, last night I was talking to my wife. I was like, what if there's a question that I'm the only one that agrees to? She's like, just stay where you are. I was like, I don't know. The big problem is that immediately you start talking about creator, and I've battled creationism most of my entire career as an evolutionary biologist and paleontologist. It brings in a whole category of things that violate my rules as a scientist as well. And when I step back from that, especially when I step back from where I started as a religious person when I was younger, I look at this and I say, you know, if anything, what we see now about the universe shows how poorly designed it is and how sloppy it is and how painful it is. <laughs> And all these things which don't speak to a very benevolent creator, because if anything, it makes him look bad. Um, I don't believe in a supernatural God. I'm a reconstructionist Jew. For me, I don't rely on a supernatural creator in order to remain astounded at the beauty of this world. It's sloppy. It's the world, right? It's the world. We're sloppy. The world is sloppy. But it's also incredibly magical and... Yeah. and and worthy of, of awe and, um, and respect. And uh, that it's here is amazing, that we're here is amazing, and I want to live in relationship to that amazement. Okay, no, no, I don't know. I don't have a lot of questions. Okay, this is certainly not, né? Vamos ver. É, ninguém veio. Pô, mano. Você I never nem... look to science to go like, is murder right or wrong? I look to science to say how many murders were committed last week. You know, that, that's what I Exato. want to know. And then Exato. say, is there a trend? What is the cause of these murders, blah, blah, blah. And then we use, uh, you know, we use different uh, tools, I guess is the best way of putting it, to, um, to assess whether or not we should be murdering people. Where do, where do those morals come from then? I think they're innate <coughs> humans. All societies have had certain things they'd agree on, regardless of religious background and so on. We don't require a deity or any kind of religion to give us those things, and we come with them as part of our species. And for me, uh, it's not so much that science can answer moral questions, but science certainly can guide us in a lot of ways, especially when moral questions in conflict with realities, we've now learned it. And é, this point, I didn't no, 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 like it. I think the questions of morals, the answers, come from the human species. It's innate to the human species. Que eu imagino que ele tava se referindo a isso, mas mano, é claro, só, né? E, mano, não, não faz nenhum sentido, né? Se você pegar uma criança, um recém-nascido, colocar no meio da selva, sozinha, que ela sobrevisse por um milagre e nunca encontrasse o humano nem nada, qual que é a moral? Qual, qual, o que, que... Que seria o entendimento de ética dela, ou de moral, enfim, sabe? Não, isso daí é, um, é um, uma construção social. Se tu tá fora de uma cultura, de uma sociedade, você não vai ter nada, independente da espécie que você for. There are things that I Tá, concordo. Nenhum cientista foi? I've got serious gaps in my faith that require a supernatural answer. I mean, I can't, I can't understand and fathom the complexities of the universe 
all on my own. I'm a Christian. I, at, at a church service, uh, someone had a hurt shoulder, and they said, my shoulder really hurts, so you pray for my shoulder to get better. I'll be honest with you, I have about 5% faith that that's going to work out. But I prayed for him. Uh, I put my hand on his shoulder, and I said, you know, I want this shoulder to get healed in Jesus' name. And I walked away thinking, oh, no, another disappointed person who didn't get healed today. Well, the next morning, that person called me and said, you wouldn't believe it. My shoulder feels 100% better. I still don't have a good answer to that. Um, but I just know every time I get an answer or an opportunity to extra my, exercise my faith in a supernatural way, I want to take that opportunity because I just don't know what the answer might be. It could be something terrific. I told you. I didn't understand the question. I understood, like, Pô, tem coisas que a minha fé não pode explicar dentro da fé. Então, por exemplo, tem várias coisas do espiritismo que eu não entendo ainda, que, que, é, que ela não consegue me explicar, tá ligado? Que eu não fico satisfeito com a resposta. Então, mas aí não, o cara trouxe o exemplo da vida real, enfim. Não era assim que eu tinha entendido. Totally agree with you. I liked you when you said 5%. I pretty much feel the same way. Yeah. But in my hometown in Japan, like, we have this kind of service to sort of console the spirits in the land like, when we chant for like out, you know, an hour, half an hour maybe, then everybody feels, oh, I feel so peaceful. But then I can't quite explain it, like logically. And that's, that's, that's sufficient in that situation. Eu, eu acho, agora eu tô na dúvida, mas eu acho que tem ciência, papers sérios, né, que estudaram os benefícios ou as consequências de, do mindfulness, né, não sei, do... Do, da, da meditação, vou colocar assim, mas eu não sei direito. Eu acho que, pô, com, cer com certeza deve ter estudo sobre isso, tá ligado? Aí o cara falou que deve ser um exemplo, enfim, se tu ficar na paz, sabe? Com respiração e tal, você se acalma, enfim. Eu acho que, pô, mano, com certeza deve ter pesquisa disso. Science is all about understanding what we can understand. And in science, you're pretty much not allowed to even consider the supernatural because it's beyond testable hypothesis. It's beyond anything that you can evaluate in any, uh, what we might call an objective manner. We are comfortable with the idea that we do not know something. And we say we do not know something and that someday we might find the answer or we may not. There's a lot out there that we can't explain, but it has absolutely nothing to do with my beliefs. I was raised Catholic and um, I'm just as confused now as I was then about what's really going on. You know, there, there, yeah. there is this small amount of stuff we can explain. I don't need to have a belief about it. I don't even need to go beyond that and just, just to decide that it's magnificent and terrifying all at the same time and just kind of leave it at that. So I think your, your answer to the question would have been yes. I mean, because I think you might agree that there's stuff that you can't even know to test yet. Right. So how could... Maybe there's something beyond scientific theory and proof that we don't even know yet. And I'm not saying God. Okay. I, if no, we just take God out of it, might there not be something well, certainly, right, that, certainly, that certainly. your scientific but, beliefs can't explain? That's right, certainly. But it also, in my philosophy, I don't see any point in putting any kind of supernatural label on it right. as so, an explanation. It's just right. not solving the problem. So, só um parênteses. Eu acho que eles estavam falando mais da, da área de science, assim, eu acho que da, da de bancada, né? Sei lá. Mas tem, se a gente for no, na física ali, na, na área quântica, no lado, no lado negro, no lado, sei lá, no lado nebuloso, assim, do pantanoso, porra, mano, o, o tanto, o, o, se você perguntar pro cara que estuda física quântica de partículas hardcore, ele, só, ele sabe fazer as contas, a matemática, as operações, mas o que tá acontecendo mesmo é uma crença, você fala, ah, eu acho que a partícula é uma onda, ou, ou ela passou por ali, ou passou por ali por causa disso, porque ela lança uma função de onda antes, que não é real, é imaginar Depende da interpretação quântica que tem, porra, tem 10. Se você me apertar, eu te falo mais mais 5, né? Que nem o Oswaldo Pessoa fala. Pô, tem interpretação pra caramba. Mas tudo bem, que eu acho que já é, é muito extremo aqui. Tá, beleza, vamos ver. Eu acredito, vamos ver se algum cientista acredita ali também. Nenhum acredito. Well, I'm so glad. Pô, não, não, eles não falaram se os cientistas se eles têm uma religião, né? Porque aqui são líderes religiosos, mas o próprio cientista, ele se identifica com alguma coisa ou não? Até agora eles não falaram. Eu não quero estar aqui sozinho. Eu quero ver a propósito para nossas vidas que se estende para o aqui e agora, que há uma eternidade that God wants to have with us. His love for us is so deep that it desires to have a continued relationship with us uh, as, as, as far as time goes on.
Because I live in Long Beach, right? I go down to the beach é and I see the waves the ocean. At, at the beach, they, they come ashore and they leave. We compare that to life. We take different shapes and different forms. And the length of the wave, we have no idea. You show up in different locations, which you have no control. The idea that we, this, this momentary shape that we have, this, uh, this life, and trying to preserve it, you know, and then we're kind of missing the whole point that we are actually that greater ocean. Caraca. In my limited capacity as a hu individual human, <laughs> like in this form, in this shape, I have no idea. How can I possibly have any idea about what that being ocean is gonna mean or be? And um, so I know that uh, I will continue to be part of the universe, but not as me, not as this. I, I would agree with that. I mean, I see no evidence from anything that I can observe or anything that, that goes on that is more than just wishful thinking that humans in some form are, are going to exist in some afterlife where they're recognizable and their identities carry on. Um, when I was a kid, I asked my dad um, <clears throat> if our pets would be waiting for us in heaven when we died, and my dad said no, and I was shocked, and I was like, why would there not be pets in heaven? And my dad's like, well, there are animals, and I'm like, why not my animals? And he's like, well, they're just like a generic cat and a generic dog, and I went, wait, what? <laughs> and so at that point, that's when I started to question, like, wait a minute, what happens next? And, uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, you know, with a lot of you guys here, uh, just saying that, look, you know, it, wouldn't it be great if we could go on and on and on? But I think because we don't see any evidence for it, I have to be in the camp of, well, we get this one shot, make the most of it, do the best you can. And then when it's done, you know, don't have any regrets, you know, live with doing as much as you could that is good so that you will live on in the memories of those who uh, stay behind. Uh, I'm so sorry your dad told you your dog's not going to heaven. What a, what a crushing thing to hear as a child. Uh, you know, all good dogs go to heaven. I mean, it's what the movie it's, said. It's what, it must be true. I think he was trying to like let me down gently. But I, I don't know. know. Yeah, yeah. Like some days, I'm like totally zen. I'm totally like, it's totally there. Like it's okay, it's all one and I will just not exist. I'm usually not as afraid of death as I am of dying. Like, I'm, re I'm afraid of dying, because I've seen some really bad dying. No, okay. I'm very afraid of pain and of, and of you know, the process of dying, but I'm... I, I'm, I lost bo both my parents from cancer, so I witnessed okay. both process. My mom died uh, over um, 30 Nossa. years ago. Ele era and, uh, ainda. It, was, it was painful to witness that her, my, my mom kind of health deteriorate. My dad uh, went through the same process, but then he was once writing letters as uh, it just really coincides with Buddhist teachings that I'm having a wonderful day and I'm really grateful for everybody who support us. We, we have a saying that every day is, uh, as you say, the greatest day. I can see that, you know, intellectually, I can understand it intellectually, but I just wasn't sure if I could, I could feel if I, I would be able to say something like that if I put in it. Com certeza. Com certeza. Vamos ver. Todo, todo mundo veio. Mano, Man, I'm such a skeptic, and that includes questioning my own, my own beliefs. Um, especially if I form a hypothesis and I'm working on an experiment. I mean, you always kind of want it to go a certain way, and you have to do your best to remove that, that bias, and then um, some a lot of times if you're in research, it just doesn't work. <laughs> One of the things I tell students, because I work with students a lot with my nonprofit organization, and I tell them, you know, as they're journeying into becoming scientists, and they come from all sorts of different backgrounds, and I just say, look, don't ever work with anyone who's afraid to admit that they don't know something or that they're wrong. Like, those are really important qualities, whether it's in science Man, or any aspect of that. life. The, the whole fun in being a scientist is trying to break things. Uh, and I actually wanted to start a journal of scientific mistakes so that we could share with each other what went wrong. Because too often we only talk about the successes. And I think it's very valuable to also know what failure is and what it teaches us. Mano, isso é tão importante que tem um vídeo no Veritas, um recente, deve ser do ano passado, sei lá que ele fala por que, que a maioria das pesquisas estão erradas, qualquer coisa assim, eu vou colocar o link na descrição, aí vai trazer exatamente esse problema, que a gente só reporta o que deu certo, a gente tá perdendo a quantidade do erro, aí, bom, enfim, o vídeo é maneiro, vale a pena. O questioning é uma coisa muito saudável, eu sempre acho que é uma coisa muito saudável, então quando eu vejo 
monastics or priests, like, yeah, go ahead and question, question me or question what you do, and then be okay. And you need to understand, understand intellectually, but at the same time, I want you to understand there are things that's beyond this intellectual understanding. So that's an, an, an unrecognizable part of understanding that comes only through experience. Mano, o disse teve era um cara diferença, dá para ver que dá para ver que ele falava que o que ele falou é diferente do que todo mundo falou, né? Eu mando bem. Curte, beleza, pessoal. Por hoje é esse aí, vamos ver o que vai ter depois. Valeu.